Hi, this is Linda with the Life Station Express, the relay station, and we bring the news to you. And earlier I posted a picture of some keto crackers that I had made, and uh, I was asked for the recipe, so I'm going to read that off to you really quick. This is not the best setup, but it's the best I can do at this point till I get something to hold my phone. So anyway, the ingredients for these keto crackers, and you can find these recipes all over YouTube. That's where I found it. Just put it together and make it the way you want to make it. So anyway, um, it takes one egg, one tablespoon of melted butter. Now, that's not going to be enough. Uh, that's what the recipe said. But I'm melting about three tablespoons right now. Um, I don't use a microwave anymore, so I have this little teeny cast iron pan. And I'm melting my butter in that. Probably can go ahead and turn that off. Um, but it calls for one tablespoon of butter, and I'm doing at least three. <laughs> okay, so getting that melted here. And um, a half a teaspoon of sea salt, and I have that here. I'll just kind of measure that out. And um, one and three-fourths cups of almond flour. Now, this is the almond flour I have right now. It's the uh, King Arthur brand i've had different brands <clears throat> i think they're all probably the same this is not the fine almond flour so i'm going to go ahead and take the one and three fourths cups and go ahead and sift it into my bowl so while i'm doing that i'll just pause it for a second but that's what i'm putting in the bowl first is one and three fourths cups almond flour okay just sifting that real quick uh, got a little bit to go, so just keep continue sifting here. Okay, I've sifted the flour, and I think I need a bigger sifter. This one's not real big. I took a couple minutes to do that. So the almond flour has been sifted, and it's in the bowl. And then I'm going to add the egg, and let me get rid of my egg carton. I only have one egg left. I would rather have one roll of toilet paper than only one egg left. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and, since these are farm fresh eggs, I like to crack them in something else just to make sure it's going to be okay. And then I'll just mix that up a little bit. Mix up the egg. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to mix it up pretty good. So I'm just using my one cup little measuring cup thing. Okay, I'm going to put that in with the flour. And it just got dark. I hope you can still see because I think we're getting a thunderstorm. This is Monday the 13th um, of April. And next goes in the butter, melted butter, in with the egg. Don't want that to be too hot. We don't want to cook the egg. So I'm just kind of mixing that all together. And the salt. That's about right. <laughs> okay. And it's just going to come into... Mix it up good. I'm just using a fork. I don't like to use a whisk. I've never been a whisk person. I don't know if you like using a whisk. I just could never... They get too gummy. <laughs> they get too... The batter gets stuck in them. I just don't care for that. And I think I need just a tad more. Just a tad. It's just a little too sticky. I mean, you can eyeball this, you know, depending on your flour and um, how fine it is or how thick it is. Let me put my recipe book over here. Now, what we're going to do next is take a piece of parchment paper and another piece of parchment paper you want to preheat your oven at 350 get that going and then just put your dough um, it's sticky but it's like a a ball of dough okay Plop. and um let me use my spatula get that out I don't know if you can hear that. There's thunder. Thunder! Oh my goodness. This has been this is a crazy time. We're in the quarantine. 
Everybody's cooking. Everybody's sharing recipes. Um, I love it, you know. Listening to music. I was playing some music this morning. I put on some really um, old praise and worship music. It made me feel so good. I just love hearing it. Um, now, rolling pin. Where did I put you? Here it is. My grandma's glass rolling pin. I love using it. it makes me think of her. And you want to just roll this dough out between the two pieces of parchment paper as thin as you can get it. Okay, and it's going to go on a cookie sheet, so you want to kind of keep it within the boundaries of the size of your, your cookie sheet that you're using. And I'm using the same one I used um, in the recipe that I used for the cloud bread. It's just the one cookie sheet I use all the time. Um, you just want to really roll it out thin. And in the batch I made a little earlier, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, it actually squeezed out of the paper. <laughs> so it's probably going to do that again. That's okay. I'm going to get it really, 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 really thin. Yeah, squeezing out a little bit there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, maybe you can. It's just in between the two sheets of parchment paper. I love parchment paper. Oh my gosh. I hadn't always used that, but I really love it now. Now this is a good amount. You could probably cut this in half. Oh now see it came out over the edge. I'm going to put these little balls that came out of the edge to the side here and then just fix it up when I put it on the um, cookie sheet. I'm not being the nice. It's not being as pretty as the last one I did, but I'm kind of in a hurry. I mean, I don't have to be in a hurry, but I don't want to keep you so long just watching this. So there we go. It's pretty much rolled out. And then you just remove the top layer. It should come off pretty easily. Okay, take that off. And then you have your batter laying there and I'm just going to take a knife no I'm not going to take a knife I'm going to take the pizza cutter and cut the edge of it right here because I don't want it to come out over the cookie sheet so I just cut a little piece off the edge it's, it's going to go on the cookie sheet and fit oh good okay so I put it on the cookie sheet and wow it pretty much decides. Uh oh. I hope my electricity stays on. So I'm going to patch it up a little bit here on the edge where I had some that squeezed out. And I'm going to put it on. I don't want to waste any. So I'm going to put a little bit of the, the batter on the edge of the cookie sheet. Um, wow, this really did fill it up. Let me see. Let me get my paper back. And just roll these. I'm going to press them out. There we go. Just those pieces that I filled in with. Ta da! <laughs> okay. Now, what we want to do next is wipe your hands a little bit. And this is like a base recipe. You can put anything else you want. I'm just going to top it with some sea salt. Uh, not sea salt, but it's pink. I have the pink Himalayan salt. Because you like a little bit of saltiness on your cracker. And I'm going to do something a little different this time as well. I'm going to take a toothpick and just make some holes. Oh, they're pretty small. Probably should have used something, maybe a fork. Make some holes. Let's see. Let's see if a fork will work better. Yeah. Just make some holes. You know, like saltines have the holes in them. 
and I'll just do that across across here. Okay. <laughs> I hope you can see that. Okay. So we've got the salt on the top. And just want to make sure that gets kind of down in there a little bit. There we go. The salt. Whoops. And the holes. Now, the last thing we want to do is take the pizza cutter again and just uh, go ahead and cut your squares for the, the crackers. So they're going to be about one by one, one and a half by one and a half, something like that. So just take the pizza cutter and go down. One day I'll have a nice setup. I really didn't start out doing recipes. I do Bible studies and things, so I really want to get some more of those made. But in the meantime, this is what is happening in this house because we are quarantined. We hope to be in the campground in a few weeks, and I will be so happy to make some videos from that location as well. So I'm just scoring with the pizza cutter and I made little squares and I'm not even sure if you can see them. Maybe you can. Um, and then this is going to go in the oven just like this. Actually what I think I'll do is to neaten it up a little bit so it doesn't burn the edge. Just cut this little bit of edge of the parchment paper off. The last time I used parchment paper I had the pre-cut Kind. Oh, that was so nice. So, one egg, um, a cup and three quarters of almond flour. I sifted it because I do not have the uh, fine almond flour. I have bought that before, but this one didn't happen to be that. 350 degree oven, one egg, and melted butter, one to three tablespoons, I will say will do it. Now this is going to go in the oven. Um, probably, hmm, I can't remember how long it's supposed to be in there. I'm going to check it at 10 minutes. It might not be, might need a little bit more, but it's at 350, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in the oven, and I'll check with you when it comes out. So again, while it's in the oven, I just wanted to remind you of the four ingredients in these keto crackers. And these are, this is like I said, it's like the base ingredient. You could add any seasoning. You could put dill or parsley or oregano or, you know, Italian seasonings, whatever you wanted to put if you want a more savory cracker. Um, we like plain crackers because we put, well, my husband puts peanut butter. So... Just a plain cracker is good if you're doing peanut butter. Um, you can just put anything you would use a cracker or saltine for, um, although they do taste a little bit different. They are a great substitute. Um, what I like is cream cheese and mint jelly together. I learned that uh, little snack from my friend Jeannie, and um, she used to fix that for us when we'd have Bible study. So I love cream cheese on mine. I used to put cream cheese and uh, strawberry preserves together. Yummy. So you can use these crackers, this as a base for any kind of, um, you know, cracker that you wanted to make for snack time. Um, it's totally keto. There's nothing in here. I think the recipe that I found, let me see. I think it said per serving, not for the whole, um, not for the whole uh, batch. But I think it said per serving was about seven carbs. That would probably be maybe 10 or 12 crackers even, which is, you know, plenty. So the ingredients and the things that you will need are the butter, one to three tablespoons, an egg, and your salt and almond flour. And it's easy when you make it on parchment paper. Uh, some people have those silicone um, cookie sheet size mats that they were using for theirs which is fine I don't have any of those but those are the four things that go in it what you need um, just the oven 350 and it did say 16 minutes so we're probably not we're probably maybe five minutes in so I will be back and show you the crackers when they're finished alrighty thanks see you in a few seconds few minutes 
Okay, I'm going to take the crackers out, and I've been checking them. I think I might have put a little too much butter in the recipe this time. So, it's somewhere between one and three tablespoons. You can have the trial and error for yourself. Um, but, I'm going to take the crackers out, and here they are. And, let me see. Oops. I want to make sure the ones on this end are finished. Yeah, I think they're good enough. Some are lighter, some are darker. My, I have an apartment-sized um, oven, and the element comes out, and there's like some extra heating power. <laughs> the element is uh, closer to the front, so everything I bake or cook or in the in this oven, one end gets done before the other. So, whoop, slide it off. I just slid it off of the. Um, cookie sheet. Now, you're supposed to let them sit and just kind of set up a little bit. Let me put this over here. Um, but I just want to show you oops, how they, um, since we put, scored them with the uh, pizza cutter, it's really hot, um, how they break apart where those lines were. I don't know if I'd be able to do it. Let's see. There we go. There we go. See how that just broke apart right on that straight line. There we go. And you can just break them apart. Each, each. <laughs> like that. And then you have your crackers. Now this end of my oven, again, was the lighter end. This end, they're a little more uh, crispy. They're going to be a crispy cracker. So boy, you can do, um, you know, you can leave them in at your own discretion, you know, how crispy you want your crackers. These are all going to be great. Ouch. Okay, i got to stop doing that right now. <laughs> They're hot. But I have um, different cheese. I'm going to, like, take a cracker and put a piece of cheese on, you know, put a bunch of them on a little uh, cookie sheet and put them in my toaster oven and let the cheese melt. That would be really, really good. Again, you know, you can put peanut butter on them, whatever. Whatever you want to... Put, just use it as a cracker. Now this one got a little, that one's really dark. Um, that's going to be nice, but it's going to taste awesome. Even if they're a little dark or a little light. I mean, we've got a little, I've got a variety here just because of the way the oven cooks. So um, that's the cracker recipe. You can add to it whatever you want. Fix them however you want. Anyway, just wanted to share that. A couple girls asked for the recipe. So again, um... You know, just four ingredients. I mean, look how short that recipe was. And if you can see it, right here it is. <laughs> four ingredients, um, parchment paper, <clears throat> your oven, your cookie sheet. <clears throat> and you can use, um, you don't need to use a pizza cutter. cutter. You can just use a regular butter knife and just, you know, score it. I took a fork and made the little holes. So I don't know if you can see the one with the holes in. I don't know if you can see that or not. There we go. That one was on the edge, so it's a little, but if you want to, you know, if you have guests and you want to serve perfect crackers, just pull the ones out of the center, and they're perfect. All right, that's enough. <clears throat> I got a little frog. Thank you so much on a rainy day making crackers. I hope you have an awesome time. God bless. Bye-bye.